All right, this is going to be Boss Frost. Now, Frost can be a little tough. He has a few mechanics, but with good communication, this fight is a singe. So the two tanks are going to tank Frost where you see the Pally standing. And then our DPS and casters are going to run into the room where Frost is standing. And they're all going to stack up on that leftmost tallest cinder block, which you'll see them do in just a minute here. Okay, so the tanks are gonna pull Frost here. You can see all the casters running to the block. Make sure that one healer is at least healing while he's moving, or else if everyone moves at the same time, then no one's healing the main tank. So once again, always wait for aggro. Let the main tank establish the aggro. You'll see all the casters stacking up on the block there, and they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna start DPS on this boss. The first mechanic of this boss, which you can see in the top right, is that he's going to spawn these red frost minions at 95%. You're going to AoE mez these frost minions, and whoever your main assist is, is going to call targets, and you're going to burn them down one by one. Now the off tank um, has not a lot to do in this fight, so if you want, you can just peel off minions to make it easier. While they're assisting down one by one, you can be slamming and burning them down one by one as well. Once those adds are down, the next mechanic is going to be a gigantic frost PBAE that he does, and the first one is going to be at 87% here. You're going to see both tanks are going to have to run very far away. It's a very large AoE, and he takes a long time to cast it, so do not run back in prematurely. Once that's done, everyone back on boss and keep DPSing. Here comes our next PBAE at 74%. Both tanks once again are going to run, wait for PBAE and back on boss. Now the reason I ran towards the group instead of away from the group like last time is because of our next mechanic called the Frost Giants which spawn at 65%. These Frost Giants are going to try to AoE root your entire group and as you remember Frost has a gigantic AoE so AoE root and gigantic AoE is an easy wipe mechanic. Your side tank can pull off and just double taunt these giants. That way they stay erupted and every DPS just stays on the boss. You do not touch the giants at all um, unless you are helping rup them. And what I mean by that is, for instance, these Thurgis can just put one pet on each just to make sure they're continued to be interrupted and then they can resume on the boss. These will despawn when the boss hits a certain percent, which you can see at the top right. Remember that while this is happening, the boss is still PBAing. You can see our paladin running away from it up there. Be mindful of the percentages in the top right. The more eyes looking at percentages and calling out, the better. Frost Giants are going to once again spawn at 33% and they will despawn at 16%. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick them up. You can see the third just throwing a pet on each just to make sure they're erupted and not rooting the group. And continue to DPS boss. Frost will once again spawn a wave of frost minions. You're going to do the same thing you did at the beginning of the fight, AoE Mez, burn them down one by one. Now 
Now the last mechanic that Frost is going to do is he's going to call in another wave of red spawns, but this is going to be called the Frost Reserves. These cannot be mezzed, and the second he does that, he's also going to cast a PBAE. So you're going to see both tanks immediately run towards the group. This now becomes a DPS race, and all DPS will focus the boss down, hopefully before Frost and any of his minions get to the group.